Bit Farms has released a huge update as of yesterday for their June production update. That's what we're going to look at today. We're not really going to look at anything else, just those things today. So Bit Farms, June 2024 production, they made 189 Bitcoin in June 2024. That is compared to 156 last month, and they are poised to continue to make more Bitcoin. Also, their hash rate went up. It went up in a big way. Remember, they had that 12 exahash goal for Q2 2024. Well, they got super close to it. They did 11.4. So they now have 11.4 exahash installed. Guess how much of that is operational? Yep, right here, 10.4% of that exahash is operational. 10.4 exahash operational for bit farms what were they at last month they were at 7.5 installed 6.4 operational let's see how much better they're doing now we're looking at a 62 percent increase from last month in terms of operational exahash and a 52% increase overall in terms of installed exahash. So that is excellent. They went 62% this month. They're pumping out 189 Bitcoin for the month, but there's, wait, there is more. One, they are now operating at 10.4 exahash. Guess how much Riot is? They're operating at 8.8. .8. Bit Farms now has a larger Bitcoin operation that is actively running than Riot, who tried to buy them for an embarrassing number just a few months ago. Right, this is me going right back into that rant of Riot needs to clean its own house before trying to acquire others, especially others with larger potential than themselves. So that's what is necessary there. Bit Farms is growing. They missed their target though. People will be a little bit upset that they missed their 12 x hash target for the first half of the year. But they're, I mean, they got super close to it with the loss of a CEO, with the attempted hostile takeover by another company, with huge weather issues in Paraguay that stopped them from installing all of their new machines. So there, there were a lot of headwinds, and despite all those big headwinds, they got really close to that finish line, and they will have it done this month. They, they're going to have that last 0.6 installed this month and running, so they will have that 12%. I mean, you can expect July is they are going to be running at 12 exahash in July. Meanwhile, Riot is probably still going to be running at 8. So Bit Farms is doing great. They improved their efficiency. Um, 30% year over year, 7% month over month. I mean, that's huge. A 7% increase in efficiency in a month is, is a bit, and 36% a year, that's huge. That is, those, those are big numbers right there. Now, this is the next thing. This is the thing we should be all getting very, very excited about here. This one right here, strategic US expansion with a 120 megawatt site that is well suited for HPC and AI. They said it, they said AI. Bit Farms is considering, now they haven't done it yet, but they're considering getting into AI. Wait till that contract comes through. If Iron, Horsey, Bit Digital, if those are anything to measure this by, we can expect a 40 to 60% jump in a matter of days as soon as they get a client for that AI business if they decide to go that way. So that is exceptional. Uh, they also increased their 2025 power capacity target um, to more than double their current power at 310. They're going, they want to take that to, into 2025 up to 648 megawatts. They are currently on track to deliver their 21 exahash goal in 2024. Can you imagine if by the end of the next six months, they are operating at 21 exahash. And if, if Riot hasn't at least cracked 20 by then, that's going to be just absolutely embarrassing. They are also expecting to have 35 by the end of 2025. Now, let's take a look at something interesting in regard to that AI business. Now, if we come down here, we are going to scroll down. We are looking for right here. So the U.S. 
um, their, their U.S. expansion. So they've got a uh, 120 megawatt site in Sharon, Pennsylvania, which is strategically situated on the cross section of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Maryland. I guess it's a very, uh, it's the largest wholesale wholesale electricity market in the United States, meaning they're going to be getting some very cheap electricity there. And they are throwing it out there. They're throwing out AI and HPC, which we know brings in that Wall Street money. So Bitfarms is likely to start seeing some pretty big institutional investment here coming soon. As soon as they can lock down a client for that HPC, like they say, we're doing HPC. We've got a client. As soon as that news drops, this thing is going to move as much or more than BitDigital did just last week when it went up 40% in a day. So keep your eyes out on that. Watch for that news because it's going to come fast and it's going to hit you hard when it does. Uh, and I'm very quite, quite excited about that. Uh, and this is just the first production update of the month. No one else, I, I, none of the others that I follow have gotten their production out yet uh, for the month of June. If, I, if I'm wrong about that, correct me. Let me know which ones because I'd love to read those reports. They're very important for uh, my investments, probably your investments as well. But that's what's going on with BitFarm this month. BitFarms this month. And honestly, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm quite excited. Let me know down in the comments. Are you excited about this update? Do you, do you, how do you feel about BitFarms now having a larger operational exahash than Riot? How do you feel about them getting that site in Pennsylvania and potentially allocating that site to HPC and AI? Uh, let us know about that in the comments. And with that said, that's all I've got for you today. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and have a profitable day.